Here's the back half of the motor, the engine. Now I did have three screws back here that the heads were so wallered out I was, it was impossible to uh, remove them so I ended up having to drill the heads out very carefully and I finally got it off. I've already pulled the broken or the drilled out studs out. So this is what this half looks like. Looks considerably different than the diagram um, for the modern version. I don't know if I'm going to keep taking this down or not, to be honest with you. I really just don't know. The looks of some of these screws looks pretty, pretty scary. Uh, so we'll just have to see. There's the counterweight. Small spacer there. I need to make sure I remember how that stuff comes off. There's a small needle bearing. Here's our rotor. So this little needle bearing. So I had this on the back side. The diagram for the modern one is different enough. Now these screws here, I'm not going to remove because there's, I don't see any evidence of any damage here. I am going to put this back in my LA's Totally Awesome Cleaner and see if I can get it cleaned up a little bit better. Okay, so as nerve-wracking as that was, I finally got this thing completely disassembled. All these parts are clean. I've got whatever parts I could find online on order which is mainly screws so here's the cooling ring I'm not sure my video was kinda hodgepodge and I was really kinda half more interested in disassembling the engine than I was shooting video so I'm not sure how much of what these original parts look like there was but here's the cooling ring nice and clean here's that back plate I just had to drill out drill three three heads out of the screws luckily looks like I did a pretty good job and I didn't damage anything so we should be in good shape there here's the mount this is the engine mount here's the drive washer and it does say NSU wankle on it now the thing that's funny about this that kinda caught me off guard was this drive washer actually has a counter weight in the drive washer. Now, <clears throat> because of the fact that this engine actually didn't have a Woodruff key, I could have just ordered a, just a Woodruff key for it. But I saw this entire drive washer with a key, so I figured, what the heck, I'm going to go ahead and order a whole new drive washer too. Why not? I'm spending money on the darn thing. Why not get what I can? So, whether I use this or not is yet to be determined for when the new one comes in. Carb. Uh, this could probably go in the ultrasonic cleaner. It hasn't been in there yet. It's not in too bad a shape. Here's my crankshaft. Now it has an eccentric cam there, or counterweight. I don't. I'm being very careful with this because there was this little thing, very thin little washer that's cut out for this that goes on there and that needle bearing and then there's another one there this needle bearing to me looks okay I'm gonna just use it now that I know how to take the engine apart <laughs> I don't know that I know how to put it back together yet but now that I know how to take it apart and the parts will be freed up I should be able to get a new one of those if necessary here's the counterweight that came off the back end of the connecting rod pretty much cleaned up. It might need a little bit of CLR. It looks like there might actually be some rust on here. So I might soak that in CLR here. Here's the back plate itself. I'm not going to remove these screws. But you can see it's much cleaner after going through the ultrasonic cleaner. 
I'm not going to remove those screws because the only reason you'd ever do that is if you're actually replacing this gear. And since it's not stripped or has any broken teeth, it's staying just like that. Here's the, another part of the front housing or main housing, I'm not sure what they call it. Now this has two uh, cylindrical dowel pins in here. One of them is free, and here's your glow plug hole. Here's your exhaust. One of these is free, one is not. I'm not going to bother with trying to make this one free, although I do need to oil this thing up. Probably have to get a brush and brush oil all over this. But anyway, this was pretty nasty looking. So I'll oil that up. Here's the front housing. Now, a subscriber uh, informed me because he's got these, one of these engines, I guess that this is actually a first generation and the only manual I could find online was for the latest generation and it is it's got several very big differences and one of those big differences is that this first generation actually uses two separate ball bearing or bearings in the front and you can see well you may not be able to but I can see that there's actually a boss that sits in between them so luckily both of these bearings feel fine because for the life of me, I don't know how I'd get those things out. I don't have a tool that I can get in there and take those out. So for now, those are going to stay. The newer design, the latest design, just uses one bearing. Now, I don't know how they did that, if they thinned this thing out or what. I'm not sure, but it only shows one bearing. Now, here is the rotor that came out of this engine. It's been in the ultrasonic cleaner for a while, so it's considerably cleaner, but... Oddly enough, as I knew that this was being shipped to me, I happened to look on eBay and I saw a listing, and I caught it with 17 minutes left, of a new rotor. And I think the list price was like, or the bidding was like at $17. So I said, what the hell, I'll bid 30 just so I can see if I win it, and I won it at 28 I think. So whether that was worth it or not, I don't know, but it's got a brand new bearing in it, brand new rotor. I might actually use this rotor. I'm not sure yet. So those are the rotors. Everything else in here is pretty much screws which are pretty much all going to be replaced. These are some interesting things here. These, without these, the engine is completely worthless. These are the apex seals that go into these grooves on the rotor. That's actually what seals it against, what actually seals this engine, or the chambers against the inside of this housing here. Without those, the engine is completely useless because it will never run. So these things, to me, from what I can tell, look like they're in fine shape. Now the kicker with these things is each one of them gets two of these really small spring steel springs behind there. Let me take, and these kind of, they get stacked on top of each other and I believe they go like something like that. So their spring, their purpose is to keep make sure this apex seal is pushed out and making contact with that rotor housing. So I also, these things are also, not these, these springs are readily available, oh I've got three here, I didn't even know, readily available on eBay. So I ordered a whole new set of these, of six of these, whether I actually need them or not, I don't know because these look fine, but I'm going to replace them. I'm going to replace, I'm not sure, damn, those things are sticky with oil on them. With the exception of this rotor, I'm not sure if I'm going to go ahead and use this rotor or not. I might. Who knows? I might use this rotor. It's new. It's here. I've got it. Why not use it? So I'll probably use all of the new pieces I've, I get to reassemble this engine. That way it's as fresh as it possibly can be. Um, so anyway, here it is. It's one thing to take an engine apart. It's something completely different to get it back together. So that's kind of why I was taking video. It wasn't necessarily just for the viewers and subscribers. A lot of it was for me so that I can actually see what it looked like when it came apart. And I've got the diagram from OS for the newer generation one. So I'm really not too, too concerned about that. But, there's your OS Wankel in a nutshell, and 
I won't be attempting to put this thing back together until all of my parts come in. So until then, that could be a week or, or more. Could be another two weeks or so before this actually gets a shot at being run. But uh, hope you enjoyed watching. And with the exception of drilling out those head, those heads of those screws, I enjoyed disassembling it. So thank you for watching.